In today's video, learn how to make a stunning isometric pattern design using the Live Bucket Tool in Adobe Illustrator. Now to kick off today's video, make sure that you only have the stroke selected in the color palettes with no fill, and then press P for the pen tool. Just make a click at the very top here, and then hold down Shift, and then click somewhere down the bottom below. Now release shift and then press V for the selection tool. So we now need to hold down the Alt Option key and then click and drag to duplicate the line across. After one duplication, just press Command or Control D and you will repeat the process of duplicating this line. So basically, we're just setting up an isometric grid in a way that I've never done before on this channel. And so when you do have those lines set up, Select them all and then copy them with Command or Control C. Paste a duplication with Command or Control F and then head into the Properties panel here or you can find it under the Window drop down menu. Rotate this selection by 60 degrees and then copy it one more time and paste it again. So now reflect this new selection in the Properties panel and we now have our isometric grid ready to go for the design. Select the entire grid and then come over to the Live Bucket tool right here. And you might need to hold down a click to discover it, but this is where it is in my toolbar. You can now click and add colors to the grid sections. And I actually forgot, I haven't got a color selected in the color palette. Now this is the technique, but you're going to want to know the approach of the process in the right way to get this final design solution. And to do that, we need to make use of color swatches. Now I have six colors here, and you can use any colors that you want in whatever kind of scheme. But once you do have your colors, select all of them and open up the swatches panel. You need to come up to the top right fly down menu and then add the colors to a swatch library. So these swatches are going to help make things very, very easy throughout the entire isometric design process. All you need to do is to select a color in the swatches library and then use the live bucket tool to color in your desired sections. Of course, if you make a mistake, just press command or control Z. Now you can be very random or you can be very well thought out. But for my design, I didn't use darker shades to represent shadow and lighter shades to represent light. I wanted a kind of disjointed and random feel to my design. But of course, you can control the art style of your very own design. Now I actually did have some white sections on my design and I didn't just leave them blank. I did fill them in with a white color. So here is my final collection of shapes using the isometric grid, but we have one very specific process that we need to go through to enable us having the final design solution. So select the grid and then come up to the stroke weight here and type in zero and hit enter. So we then need to expand the entire design in the object drop down menu. Open up the Pathfinder window and then use the merge function, which is going to leave your design looking a little something like mine here. We're now closing on the final stages of the design process. So press M for the rectangle tool and then create a shape like so over the top of your design. So when you have that in place, select everything and then right click the design. We're going to make use of the clipping mask function in Illustrator. One method for moving the design around inside of your square rectangle is to press A for the direct selection tool and then shift click the four anchor points. You can then nudge the rectangle around which essentially is going to crop your design in different ways. You might want to go ahead and add a drop shadow to your design or you can just leave it as it is. And for the drop shadow, I personally like to make it centrally underneath my design. And so I change the values here to zero. And I also increase the blur quite a bit. 
If you want to see more videos on isometric design, I do have quite a few on my channel and they're going to be linked at the end of this video. But I also want to hear from you guys what you want to see on this channel here at Satori Graphics. I do have some things I'm working on at the moment, such as the logo design process on an actual project that I worked on, and also my very first ever logo design that I created back when I was only about 14 years old. But yeah, just let me know what you want to see on this channel and what's going to be helpful to you and your graphic design career. Do have fun with this isometric design, and of course, until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.